he went to a, a preschool when we first moved here. And as a test that they to test motor skills, they usually hand the student a piece of paper and a pair of scissors, and they ask him to cut a circle out of the paper. Every student that they had ever tested picks up the paper and the scissors and starts at the edge and cuts around, some better than others. And they'd asked Nat to do it, and Nat looked at the piece of paper for a minute or so, folded the paper in half, and then cut a half circle out and handed the circle and the piece of paper back. We have Nat Lawson in the studio. Uh, Nat is a 16-year-old mentalist who is uh, mind-blowingly good. If you uh, don't know him, haven't seen anything on him, go to natlawson.com and you will be blown away. He's in the studio because he's about to start an experiment with us and end it with us, yes. um, where you will be blindfolded for nine days to basically increase the, the awareness of your other senses for uh, perception reading and mind reading and such. I read tells to, that convey information and then analyze that information, write it down on a notepad and turn it around. It's pretty much my job. I want to learn how to do that without vision. Last night, I was up with my father until about midnight building something that we call the blackout room. And it's a room in my basement that we constructed from scratch in three hours that is completely blacked out. And this is the, uh, is the blackout room. But this is where I'll be spending some time. Chair, table, camping pads, blindfolds. Now we're ready. My mentalism right now relies 98% on vision, but that's not all that mentalism has to offer. I think that it is very unusual, but he has been very unusual for a long time with many odd ideas, and so I'm not that surprised. I don't know if you'll be, really be able to capture what's going on in his brain since this we're doing something visual about him. He seems kind of redundant. Getting rid of it. Yeah, yeah. like, you know, we're making a visual out of a lack of visuals, so I think it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm excited. It, it, it's, it's an interesting question to think um, how much perceptual change you would, would have within 10 days. As an example of this, uh, if, if you walked into a room that had a very stinky bear in it, you would see the bear and be terrified, but if you smelled the bear, you might just think, wow, something in here really stinks. Um, and uh, so the 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 you know, after blindfolding yourself for a week, you might walk into a room like that and say, you know, what's, what's going on? Because you are now paying more attention to the olfactory cue than you would be to, to the dependence on the visual cue. I was asked the other day why I'm doing this now, and that's for a couple of reasons. I'm 16 right now, so my brain is still developing quite a bit, and any changes that I make now to the way that I perceive the world, there's a good chance they'll be permanent, wow, that's which is amazing. Throughout the whole time, except for when I'm in the shower, I will have two blindfolds on at all times, an inner blindfold and an outer blindfold. My heart would be racing right car. now. It's a scary thing. Right now I have butterflies in my stomach yeah. a little bit. Uh, Cause that's it right there. This is it. Wow. No more light, 216 hours, start the clock. Um, and then we're gonna put this on. Put that like this. A couple of I'll, I will guide you out. Door's good. Do you want to follow my voice? See how you're doing so far with voice recognition? I think I'm actually. Okay, watch <laughs> over, here. over here. Follow my voice. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I am glad that we started this, and I will be glad when it's over. And then another one? Yep. And we're on the street? Oh. Yep. All right, so there's a stairway. This is your first stairway. Yeah, all right, railings, you're coming up on the railing on your right. Yeah, right there. Got it. And we're getting a couple weird looks, and that's okay. You're, f you're pretty far right. Right? Okay. Yeah. There's a tree right ahead of you. Oh, I'm very far right. Yeah. Come on back. Throwing something and just having no idea where it ends up is kind of concerning. And it's weird because 
Like your sense of touch just has a much smaller range. I feel like my entire world has been constricted to my body. So when that ball leaves Left. my body... Left. Um, it's no longer in my world. Uh, 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 uh. Good. Good, what do you think? You can definitely hear that coming off. Singing that pitch, you can hear the size of the space you're in, and with the piano there, you can hear the, this size, you know? It's, that's just something that I've never experienced before. We haven't done any of our blues anymore. I don't think it would have been. Because you were completely willing to do that. Last night, after my voice lesson, I came home and was going to sleep, and uh, I was kind of in that dreamy state in between being awake and being asleep. I felt like I woke up and I saw my room in total clarity, almost like oversaturated, full of color, weird clarity. But I think that was a really interesting phenomena that happened and I was not expecting anything like that to happen but it did and it was interesting and I can't wait to figure out what it was where it came from and why that was happening all right Nat so what are we doing we're gonna go out and try street mentalism blind for the first time I'm very excited to see how this goes yeah okay tell me when to stop anywhere you would like stop right there are you sure we can keep going if you want all right, keep going. Stop. Right there. Okay, here's your card. This is called muscle reading or contact mind reading. Just one hand will do. Um, so, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Now, I'm going to continue to do that. Can you count those for me? And focus on where your card would fall in that progression, okay? So when I move up, say ace, down is two, okay? All right. Ace, one, two. Three. Your card is a number card? Yeah. Um, it was around the five, six, or seven, correct? Nope. Your card is a heart? No. Your card is red. Okay. Put your hand on mine. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight. Your card's the eight of spades? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That was pretty great. Thank you. What did you think? Fine. Yeah. Exactly what I expected. The thing about mentalism is you have to make a stellar first impression where people walk away from that you. I'm you know I'm I've gotten okay at that I understand how to make a good first impression when I can see someone oh. yeah so they were there was just resistance right off the bat for most of the people which is so you know you might as well give up at that point <laughs> he's not a magician he's not a psychic all his effects are mind games. And now he's playing one of his own, joining us this morning to show us. Good morning, Nat. Good morning. It's good to see you again, but you cannot see me. So as a mentalist, we can't have you here without doing an effect for us. So I wanna bring in my co-anchor, Courtney Cabot, okay. who is going to be our lovely assistant. Hello. Hi, Courtney. Hi. Hi, Courtney. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So Nat, take it away. What are you gonna to do today? Okay, see your card. Okay. Yep, I remember that. Yep and then the cards are going away. Your card is red? Yep. Okay. Um, can we take your red hand, yep. I think? Yep. Yep. 
And then, so we're going to say moving in this direction is diamonds, and moving okay. in this direction is, in, is hearts, okay. okay? Now, I'm going to move your hand back and forth. Imagine that there is more resistance in the direction that your card is. So, more resistance in either the diamonds or hearts direction. This is essentially the same thing. Um, that's diamonds. Your card is a diamond? Yes. Yes, great. <laughs> What we're going to go into now, because it's a little bit more complicated to get the value, is audio analysis or just voice analysis mind reading, okay. um, which is another thing that I've been working on over the past six days. So, would you cla clearly, oh God, loudly, clearly say, um, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king? Yes, okay. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Okay. Where we breathe when we speak is uh, very interesting and it gives a lot away because we don't really realize that we're breathing while we speak, but we're breathing in and we're breathing out all the time. And when you said that, you exhaled on a very specific part of, the, uh, of that sequence. And based on that, I'm gonna tell you your card was the four of diamonds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Now, what, how do you think that went? I thought it went really well. It was a successful card read. It was a little anticlimactic to drive all the way to Portland for, you know, five minutes, a two-minute card read. But it was really fun, and it worked. Uh, I'm glad we got the time on the street before to really hammer out all of the wrinkles in a card read blind using muscle reading, but I feel very comfortable with that now and it's time to move on to working on a word not a card so so i think an interesting uh outcome of your experiment could be whether your visual cortex essentially gets bored and starts creating visions for you last night i was getting ready for bed and an abstract color hallucination happened which is something that rob burgess told us to look out for what it was it started as a blue and green little ball of color. It proves that I've been successful in locking out all of the light for the entirety of this project so far. This is a book, not a very good one. Um, open it up and look at any word on any page. Okay, I have one. Great, I'll take the book back. So imagine the first letter of the word that you thought of falling onto a spectrum from uh, over here to over here, this is A, MN is over here, and Z is over there, it's the alphabet, okay? So now, would you just count out where that would fall? Yeah, great, and then we're gonna start moving back and forth. And imagine your hand going to that place. Um, okay, that's about right there, right? So that's around H? No? Where was it? Ooh, okay, on the other side of the MN. Um, that's fine. So in your mind, where was it, what letters were these? You want me to tell you the letter? Uh, yeah, it doesn't. R. R, okay, great. Now, I'm gonna try to go for the second letter uh, in this method, and then we'll change it up, okay? okay. So the second letter, around here. Um, I want to say D, but I know it's not D because RD is very rare. Uh, would it be the E on the second letter? Yes. Yeah, great. I'm going to try the, to change the method a little bit. Um, let's go with the third letter, but this time just imagine the shape of the letter, okay? So the shape on like a blackboard in front of you. Okay, that's where it is. Is this a C? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, the fourth, we'll just keep going right through the letters this way. E. Yes. Okay, let's try something else. Um, great. With the rest, 
I'm gonna go through the alphabet, I'll actually say every single one, and on the letters that are, that remain in your word, I want you to think the word stop, okay? Okay. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, that was one, A, or A, G, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, that was one, P, Q, R, S, T, yes, U, B, W, X, Y, Z, okay. So I got a couple there. I, the O, T, um, there's an N here, and there was an the S. There, the T was strong though, I really got that. That was two, there were two T's. Don't actually, don't even answer that, that seems like I'm fishing. Um, one question, and I think I have it, was there a P? Yes. Receptionist? Yes. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Dang. Holy s***. <laughs> <laughs> this experiment gave me the time to focus on my other senses and learn to read those tells through my sense of touch and hearing. And I really, I've accomplished about what I estimate between nine months and a year of work in nine days. We're ready. We are, are okay. ready. Are you ready? Um, yes. Are you I nervous? am. I'm nervous for you. You've got duct tape on your face. Yeah, that's, well, that's the part I'm nervous for. It's gonna hurt. I'm more nervous for the fact that my retinas haven't done anything should with light in the like last nine lights days. In here? I mean, so I no, can it'll have be. A big window. I think it should be fine. All right. I'm gonna just go for it then. All right. um, so All right. these. So that part didn't hurt. No, that was fine. Off with the first blindfold. Oh, there's the mic. Can't see. <laughs> You're, Am you're I okay. still good? Yeah, you're, you're, still you're okay. Okay. I'll move it. Oh my Inner goodness, that is wow. elaborate. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, 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 oh. there it goes. Are your okay, eyes? through oh, my oh, eyelids, oh. all I'm seeing right now is like bright white, like I'm looking into the sun. Oh my gosh, hi, hi. 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 Everything is shaky, okay? Are you okay? Yeah, everything is Are like your eyes watering? Out of focus. Yeah, they are. Oh, wow, you look totally messed up. Yeah. Well, Give me some better. of that, dude. <laughs> you okay? You yeah. Right? Everything is. Am I better looking than you? Remember? Moving. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Lori. Make this about yeah. Me? How can you make it about Lori? <laughs> Everything is moving in waves, and there's no depth yet. Well, there was the end of that. Wow. Matt, congratulations. Um, I find you to be, and so do so does our audience, a remarkable young man. I made more progress than I ever thought I would. In those nine days, I had learned to live a life without vision. And taking it off was like getting a new sense. There was so much sensory input that I wasn't used to, that I had no real conscious thoughts. My stream of consciousness actually stopped. I think this project definitely was a success for different reasons than I thought it would be going into it.